Hi there and welcome to this two minute tips video and today we're looking at ADL bracketing or active delighting bracketing. So in a couple of previous videos we've looked at auto bracketing um, linked to exposure and also to white balance and in this video we're going to look at the ability to bracket active delighting. Now we've covered what active delighting is and how it works in another video and I'll put the link above but it's Nikon's specific functionality that optimizes contrast to restore highlights and shadows in images. Like white balance ADL bracketing only works with JPEG so if you've got RAW or RAW and JPEG set this, these options in the menu will be greyed out so you've got to be shooting with JPEG only in your camera. Now with JPEG, the ability to deeply adjust images in post-production is more limited than with RAW images, or perhaps you don't have the time or the inclination to adjust some of your images, and therefore shooting in JPEG is the right thing for you. But there's a lot of functionality in modern cameras to help you get great JPEG images out of the camera. However, knowing when to use different pieces of the functionality can be a challenge, and active delighting can be like that. And that's where this functionality might help you. It allows you to automatically shoot one image without active delighting and one with active delighting. So let's start by taking a look at the settings. If you go into the menu structure and you go to the photo shooting menu and you either scroll up or down to the fourth page, the third option down will be auto bracketing. If you go into there and the first option is auto bracketing set, in there you've got a list of options and right at the bottom you've got ADL bracketing so you select that and come back out and what you'll see is you've got a two settings below now only one of those allows you to make any adjustments and the other one shows what that adjustment is and that's the um, number of shots functionality or option and if you scroll to the right you'll notice you get the options of off plus low ADL off plus normal ADL, off plus high ADL, off plus extra high ADL and finally off plus auto ADL. So you select which one you want and of course always remember to press OK to lock in that setting and just set up. Now it's important to think about the other shooting settings and select those. You compose and release the shutter. As with um, white balance bracketing the camera only needs a single image and it creates the other image from that and saves it to the um, memory card. And again, if you want to turn this off or when you come to turn this off, you go back into the settings, go to number of shots and go back to 0F and it turns that setting off. So a little bit simpler there with only one setting to get right, but it could be really useful in those situations where you perhaps are shooting quite variable high contrast situations and you perhaps want to have that ability to without thinking about it create the original shot plus one with ADL to see what it looks like and you can pick and choose which one you prefer um, when you're reviewing your images. So if any of you use this, those of you using and shooting JPEG predominantly, how have you found it useful? If you haven't, when are you thinking of using it? Are you going to turn it on permanently perhaps? There is a bit of a um, a, a downside in that it stores more images but the upside is you might get some better images out of it without having to think and turn things on and, and mess around in the menus when you're shooting. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, as always, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of future videos and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.